me. Don't yell at me. I know. I've been gone forever. It's only been like two weeks, but I know. I know. Guys, I get it. I suck. <sighs> Let's talk about it. What's been going on? Why have I disappeared? Where's Sabrina? Um, so I spiraled bad. It was not good. It wasn't cute. Um, I just have been going through a hard time and that is just what I do, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Mental health is a roller coaster and you never know when it's gonna hit you. I went through a loop de loop on the roller coaster, but I'm good, I think. June is a very, very, very intense, hard and heart wrenching month for me. And it's just really hard for me to be, you know, creative or productive. I'm having a hard time and this month coming up has been really, really heavy on me and it just has been hard. So I'm sorry that I've been gone, but please just bear with me this month. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna be a little less productive and a little less creative because my mind is in a million other places, but I'm going to still try to get out as many videos for you as I can, but I'm sorry if it's not weekly. Hopefully it is, but we'll see. If you guys didn't know this already, I have a podcast and it is pretty cool in my own personal opinion. So. If you guys want to hang out with me more, and I do actually post weekly on there, no matter what, even if I'm going through the ringer. So go listen to my podcast. It is called Brutally Honest, the Brutally Honest podcast. You can find it on Past Your Bedtime's YouTube channel and on all streaming platforms. Yeah, that was my YouTube moment. Okay, you know me, every time I have an inconvenience in my life, I dye my hair. So let's go do that together. The hair is being dyed going dark. I'm gonna be here for 15 minutes and then I'll check back in with you guys, but my head is very warm right now. Thank you. Hi guys, sorry for the interruption. I just wanted to pop in here and thank the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp, which is H-E-L-P, not Better Health. Better help. This partnership literally couldn't have come at a more perfect time because it's the beginning of June. June's a really hard month for me. This video is literally about me just kind of trying to get my mental health back on track because I've had a bit of a month, not a month, I've had a bit of a couple of weeks, I guess, two weeks maybe. I've just been kind of going through it. So it's really nice to be doing this with you guys and with BetterHelp. Anyway, sorry, I'm being cheesy. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it is 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists that can help you with a wide variety of issues. When starting with BetterHelp, all you have to do is answer a couple of questions about your needs and what you want and what you're looking for in a therapist and that way BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist for you. Once you're matched up with the right therapist, you can talk to them with whatever form of communication you feel comfortable with, whether it's text, chat, videos, phone calls, whatever you want. If after talking to them, you decide that they're not the right fit for you, you can change your therapist with no additional cost. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality that you would get with in-person therapy, but this time with a therapist that is custom picked for you. And there's more scheduling flexibility at a more affordable price. You can get 10% off your first month using this link, and I will also link it down in the description below. This partnership actually is just so incredible to me, and I am so happy to be able to share it with you guys, so thank you so much, BetterHelp. For sponsoring this video. You guys know me. I am a big advocate for therapy. So if you want to check it out, I really recommend it. Okay, back to the video. My hair is so dark. I have not had this dark of hair in like years. So this is crazy and it's gonna take a little getting used to, but we aren't done yet. Lovette's gonna cut it. Ugh. I feel like 19 year old me again. Um, we're at the Brandy Melville Cafe and I've only been here once so I haven't really tried it. But we're gonna review it for you guys because it's a Brandy Melville Cafe. I mean, come on. I'm excited. I've never had it. Also, this is really good. I just got chai. Well, dirty. Wow, it's strong. I know, I needed it. I ordered a sandwich and then I got a pizza for us to share. So I'm gonna taste test it all for you guys. But this cafe is super cute and it's literally attached to Brandy Mountain. I think I'm gonna run into Brandy really quick and buy a claw clip. I just need it out of my face. Yeah. So I'll be right back. <laughs> got a claw clip, so my hair was bothering me. I literally just got it done, but. How sturdy is it? It's pretty sturdy. I got a headband and then I got a shit ton of jewelry. This looks really good. Mm. 
that is so fucking good. <laughs> Transfer it back on. Thank you. See, so yours is not spicy, right? Mm mm. Okay. Pizza is a 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Sandwich is like an 8. That hill started playing and then I started crying so we're leaving anyway yeah so I am a very how do I explain this there's a lot of people that are visual people and visual learners so when you're like in school you know you, you need like to see things visually to learn I am very auditory I am stimulated by like things I can hear and I get very easily overstimulated by sounds. So that's why I always have headphones and I always have wired headphones with me at all times. I'm very easily overstimulated by noises and Okay. I got I got overstimulated while I was shopping and then I was um eating at Brandy. Sorry guys. I did tell you guys I've been going through a hard time, so you've been warned. But um, yeah, I was overstimulated. I was eating at Brandy. And then the song, Running Up That Hill, started playing. And that song is very, very sensitive for me because it was like trending at a very hard time in my life. And it reminds me of like a very, very, very hard time that I went through last year, which was around this time of the year as well. So just in general, lots of things stimulated me in the wrong ways. So I started crying in Brandy <laughs> So I started crying in Brandy and um, we left. But I did get everything that I needed done. So that's good because sometimes my emotions get the best of me and then I don't end up doing everything that I need to get done. So I'm just happy I got everything done today. It is 6.43 and I am in bed. Don't be worried about me, I'll be fine. It's just, it, this is gonna be a hard month for me and that's okay because I'll get through it and it'll be fine. But I just feel like I, as long as I'm aware and I'm like patient with myself and gentle with myself and I know that it's gonna be a hard month for me, then it's okay. Because if I try to like be in denial about it or act like everything's okay, that's when I really like spiral or like get stuck. Okay guys, it is the next day. I have come back to life. I've been rejuvenated. I have hope. I went to therapy this morning and my therapist was kind of just telling me that the environment that I am in is a direct reflection of the way that I think and the way that I feel. So my apartment's a mess and we're gonna clean it together right now because I cannot live like this anymore. Right, Bam? Yeah, he gets it. So it's clean. I already put one load of laundry and I haven't done laundry in like a month. So we have a lot of loads of laundry to do. We need to clean the cat room and the dishes and make my bed and clean my room. Let's do it. Woo. I know, I know. Mommy's so sad. He hates me. Also a tip that my therapist gave me. She told me to set a timer for 10 minutes and just play like my favorite music. And then after 10 minutes, decide if I want to set another timer for 10 minutes. And that way I can like clean in segments and not get overwhelmed. So if you want to try that, you should. Cause I, that's what I'm going to do. This is what we are working with. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. Let's do it.
My dishes are done. I put my cute little headband on and I'm just waiting for the laundry to be finished. But let's make my bed. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> let's make my bed and hang up some PR that I got because I have put like a huge pile of clothes on my couch. I'll show you. Join me, guys. I've been going through a beer phase and I can say that because I'm 21. But <laughs> I've been going through a beer phase, so ignore me. But this is the pile of clothes on my couch and it's not cute. So let's, let's fix that. I called Lavette and she's gonna pick me up and take me to do something because I need to get out of the house. So let's get ready and make myself look cute because that will also make me feel better. I was supposed to clean my apartment and then I just went to bed and now I'm waking up at three o'clock. But I called my mom, I told her I'm not doing too hot and she booked a flight. So she will be here tonight and she will help me get out of this funk that I'm in. Cause I won't get out of it. It's not that big. Like this is normal, it's human, it happens. It's okay guys. Um, you don't need to worry about me. I promise I'll be fine. I just need to be aware of the way that I feel so that I don't get stuck in it, if that makes sense. way too vulnerable with you guys on here. This is getting crazy. Like when will I draw the line? <laughs> it's insane. My anxiety man is fucking crazy right now. I'm like trying to chill out because I don't want to have an anxiety attack and I like you know when you feel it growing it's like coming up and like my chest is like tightening. God I'm so happy my mom is coming to town tonight. Anyway just for context, it is the 6th of June and Cooper passed away on the 9th, which is why I'm just absolutely losing my mind th this week. Yeah. Also, caffeine is really bad for anxiety, but I have a caffeine addiction, so that just like, doesn't help. I'm definitely gonna cry at some point, just warning you. I'm crying. It's brewing, I can feel it. Okay, sorry for the noises in the back. I'm doing more laundry. I had a lot of laundry to do, but I'm going to the beach. Levette is here, she's taking me to the beach and we're gonna get some food because I haven't eaten because I have no appetite, but we're gonna get food anyway. And then I put on a hoodie. We're shopping too. We are? I don't know. Okay. Pain pill therapy. I kind of want like to get little knickknacks. And I want I want to get jewelry. Okay. Yeah. I could get Ooh, some jewelry. Knickknacks. knickknacks. Yeah. I just like saying the word knickknacks. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I feel better. I don't want to cry because my makeup is on. This hoodie's really cute, it's from Thursdays, and I love it, and I've been wearing it every day for like two weeks. It's not good, but I just washed it. So. More caffeine, because my anxiety isn't bad enough. You, isn't it crazy that this is the video I got sponsored by BetterHelp? Oh, this is the video. This is the video. Well, perfect time. Like, perfect timing. Perfect timing. Jesus, this is crazy. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go to the beach, we're just waiting for arrows, and then we'll head out. And then I'm picking up my mom later. Levet and my mom are besties. I love my mom. Uh, our, my mom. mom. <laughs> our mom. Our mom. My grandma's coming too. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah. Yay. Wait, should we, take, should we take your car? Yeah, just in case we have to pick them up. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, Slim. I'll check back in with you guys when we're on our way. Look at me. 
My mood went from here to here to like, it, it's crazy. You never know with me, I'll keep you guys, I keep you guys on your toes. <laughs> Hi guys, we are in, I hope they don't yell at me. Hey, I think they live for this. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're in this restaurant called Elefante. It's in Santa Monica and the food is amazing. I came here for Kenzie's birthday dinner and it was so fucking good. So we came back and I feel so much better. Do you feel better? No. No? Okay, well. We all did because that's just the go-to. You know like what I mean? Ocean side, so yeah. Yeah. This restaurant's really cute. I'll show you guys. But we got a lot of food and I will review the whole entire menu for you guys because we okay, we ordered calamari. Um, eggplant. Whipped eggplant. Whipped eggplant. Meatballs. Spicy vodka pasta. And the main Pizza. The Soprasada pizza. It has like prosciutto, right? No, it's salami. It has salami on it and like honey and stuff. And honey and chili oil. Yeah, so we're gonna review that. See guys, if you're sad, just leave your apartment and get food. Thank That's, God. Yeah. And if you're 21, get an Aperol Spritz. That's my advice. I will check in with you guys when the food gets here. friends <laughs> it is nighttime and we ate dinner it was delicious and then we came home because my mom's flight landed early but her and my grandma are asleep in my room we're here doing some emotional damage <laughs> but yeah i feel grand i feel better than i did earlier today we're getting no somewhere <laughs> we're getting somewhere hopefully but yeah, I'm sorry that this video was such a mess. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys so soon.
I'm not gonna say next week because last time I said next week I lied, but hopefully next week. I will see you guys very soon. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and please don't worry about me. I know I look like a mess in this video, but I have people around me, so I'll be okay. Um, yeah, I love you so much and I'm gonna go to bed because when I go to bed, I avoid my problems. <laughs> it's also 2 a.m. It's also 2 a.m. All right. I love you.